Bonjour à tous, it's your friend Marie Rose. Welcome back. I was supposed to be in Paris this week, uh, but instead I'm home watching Emily in Paris and crying into my popcorn. But it's okay, because today we're gonna hang out and I'm gonna show you how to make this creamy, smoky, delicious, instant pot black bean soup. You can also make it on the stove top. Those directions are on my blog. It's black bean soup, it... <laughs> so this soup is a perfect, healthy, high protein, weeknight meal, all in one pot. Anyway, let's hang out for a little bit and I will show you exactly how to make this soup. First, we're gonna start by chopping up all of our vegetables. We're gonna start with the carrots, and I like to cut them in half, and then cut them in half lengthwise so that it creates a flat surface so the carrot doesn't roll around. And then once they're cut in half lengthwise, I'll cut them in half one more time, and then I'll go and I'll cut those pieces nice and small. I like to, to cut my carrots nice and small like this, and to make sure that all my veggies are roughly about the same size so that you can get multiple vegetables on the spoon at one time instead of getting a big chunk of carrot or a big chunk of bell pepper and i actually ran out of uh, red onions for this recipe but it does call for red onions i was actually out so i used some old footage but just dice up some red onions <laughs> and then this is how i like to chop my bell pepper i cut it in half and then i just cut the core like away from the bell pepper it just makes it a lot easier to de-seed it like that and then I just cut it roughly about the same size as the carrots. So lately I've been pre-chopping my garlic at the beginning of the week. It saves a lot of time and then I don't have to smell like garlic every night. Pre-chopping your garlic is also really healthy because it helps the anti-cancer compounds that are created when you cut it. It helps them to form and it gives them time to form so that by the time you cook it, it won't kill all those anti-cancerous compounds. Plus, pre-chopping it um, allows the flavors to develop more so when you cook it, garlic keeps its flavors. Now we've got our spices, so that was cumin and now we've got smoked paprika and I I really love the flavor of chipotle powder. If you don't want it spicy, then keep this out, but it creates a lovely smoky flavor. And then we have dried oregano or uh, dried cilantro. And then just get yourself one veggie bouillon cube and then salt to taste. So we're gonna set the Instant Pot to saute mode. Add um, oil if you'd like, or if you want us to make it healthier, just use water to saute. And we're gonna kind of caramelize and saute all of our vegetables. And just add a little pinch of salt just trying to add flavor to each layer that you create then we're going to just kind of toast our spices to bring out more flavor in the spices we're gonna add the two tablespoons of garlic yes i like a lot of garlic in this plus the garlic helps you know fight off colds and all that stuff um during the winter so it's good to use a lot of garlic in the winter and fall months and we're just going to saute everything for a minute and then add a can of diced tomatoes and four cans of drained and rinsed black beans. And then I'm gonna add about four to five cups of water. I used five cups of water in this. If you want it to be a little less runny and a little more thick, then just use four cups in an Instant Pot. But on the stove top, use five to six because on the stove top, you're gonna be simmering and losing a lot of water. And then we add our veggie bouillon and then salt to taste. I ended up using about half of a teaspoon because the beans you know, were salted and it didn't need a ton of salt, so. Then we're just gonna close it up and put it on high pressure for five minutes and then let it slow release for about another five minutes and then it comes out to be a lovely, delicious, beautiful soup. Beans always do really well with like a citrus element to balance it. So I used um, half of a lime juiced in there. I was actually out of lime, so I used lemon. So lemon is completely fine as well. Now we're gonna add a creamy element to the soup. This is optional, but it does make it taste really, really good. I really love, my favorite first choice is to use canned coconut milk. If you don't have that on hand, you can also use veganaise. But I just put about a third of a cup of canned coconut, the full fat canned coconut. It adds such a lovely creaminess to this. Then use an immersion blender uh, to just thicken up the soup a little bit. You don't want to over blend it. Just put pulse it in there for like 30 seconds or so. You can also 
take about a cup of it of the soup out and put it in a blender and then um, blend that and then add it back into the soup if you don't have an immersion blender and then I just added some cilantro and you can just top it off with some vegan sour cream or some sliced avocados also tastes really good if you want to make it more spicy just add some hot sauce on that bad boy and you've got yourself delicious healthy weeknight soup so the recipe for this is linked below please check it out if you'd like to print it off leave me any comments or questions you have below let me know what you'd like to see next and i hope you all are staying safe healthy happy and i will see you all very soon in the next video thanks for hanging out bye